and good afternoon. Hey, happy day to you, man. Welcome to the happy download. Day. I am Joel, and always with me is my great friend, Mike. Mike, say hello. Hey, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're excited to be here. It's episode 46. Woo. Hey. 46. Since we, we did a couple of episodes back, we said that we're going to count how many times through the day we looked at our phone. Another one, another one, and another one. And we realized this morning that we never circle back to tell y'all how many times. And I am ashamed to tell you that I had over 20 times. And I think it was like 24 Man, times. Always. And that was, you know, 24, 25 times. Mike, what did it look like for you? Yeah, it was, it was around 23 times. Damn! Damn! Ah, I can't believe I did that. Yep. Um, yep. And I, I also made a conscious effort to not look at my personal email mm. on my laptop, right? So it was kind of like, don't don't get attached here. I did okay. We're going to talk about mobile phones, right? We're going to talk about connections. One of the things I want to talk about is if we touch our phones that much, when's the last time you've cleaned your phone, right? right? And I know you're right. thinking like, well, how do I go in and clean my phone and you know the data and whatnot? No, no, no. I'm talking about the outside. <laughs> I'm talking about... The phone that is in your hand, when's the last time you took a nice Clorox wipe and right. wiped down your phone, right? Uh, right? It's something that you should do at least weekly, if not daily, right? Uh, clean your phone, people. It is nasty, right? Yep. People take that phone into the bathroom with them. Yeah. Uh, it's always in their hands. I've seen videos of people dropping it. <laughs> right. Oh, that's nasty. What do you do with it? When, when you're not doom scrolling through your apps and everything, what you, you put that put, thing up to your uh, face, uh, right? Yes. And it, it, it's like you think about it and you're like, uh, why, why would I do that? And you're like, yeah. Uh, so so I, I, have a, I have a wonderful wife who every time she cleans her phone, the outside of her phone, she's like, let me see your phone. <laughs> She'll see, wipe mine love. as well. That's um, love. If your significant other does not clean your phone, you right. need to rethink that relationship, people. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. No lie, no lie, no lie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need, that's, uh, I need that, to go talk to my wife. One. Hey, 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 that's... hey. When was the last time you cleaned my phone? Oh, when was the last time you cleaned her phone? <laughs> well, that's, hey, hey, hey. hey stay that door focused. swings both ways. Stay focused. Stay focused. <laughs> door swings both ways, my friend. <laughs> uh, I never have a clean phone until I pulled a new one out of the box. So What? Uh, <laughs> that's terrible like I, I, let, I, let me tell you that is terrible people you know right? do not follow your limitations hey, that is um, terrible clean your phone right and so, then clean off yeah like like also you know we're talking about the outside as well but also the inside right right um we talked about that before and we, we've mentioned that several times like if there's right. stuff in there that you don't need clean it out clean your phone right yeah. you don't need I, to carry all those apps I had someone complain about how slow their phone had, had gotten, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it was a relatively new phone. It was only like four or five months, and I I looked at the storage, mm -hmm. and like the 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 her her messages, her iMessages or her text messages, she had eighteen gigs in her in her message folder, and I'm like, and I went and I looked, and it was all videos that people had sent to her and photos, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. you know, you don't have to keep all of them, mm -mm. keep the ones you want. Right, and then right. move them off to the cloud. Just don't don't leave them on your phone. Because yeah. the more storage you use up, the more the phone has to go through that storage. So once you get to about 60, 70% of your storage, your phone's going to slow down. Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. Hold, wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. It has to go through all of that storage to bring that thing to the surface. And, and it, it, you know, just to, to, to Joel's point, Go through your apps. Like we all download apps that you're like, this seems fun. Yeah. And, and like two months later, you haven't opened it. Right. right. Or, and so just, just get rid of them. Um, one, yep. they take up space. Two, if mm -hmm. you're not updating regularly, that could be a security risk. Like there could be, a, could be. a malware in the, in the application. Yep. And three, um, you know, maybe they're not updating the app and, and it's just went dead. And, and I've, I've certainly been on the phone. I was like, you know, this thing has an up, this app hasn't updated in, three yeah. years you go on the website the company is out of business and you're like yeah. oh time to get rid of this app delete. So, yeah yes yes delete. It's, it's time to let that go Think about how many times you touch your phone right how yeah. many times you pick up your phone right yeah um and it's became come such a bad habit it yeah. is man i yeah. it's, it's interesting to think about life before we had 
phones, right? I mean, hey kids, I'm gonna tell you this novel thing. We didn't always have phones. We'd have to have pay phones, right? You kept change on you and you know you would go and you put your your quarter in and you uh, dial a number and yeah, you times. talk to somebody. Yeah. Now you, you had to remember the number. You did. Or write it down. How Joel, did you have a little phone book? And I, and how many times have you watched that? <laughs> <laughs> Right. But right. you know what? How right. many oh, numbers? I guess I'm not talking to these people anymore. Nope. It's all blurry. But the it's thing all... is, the, the cool thing was the numbers I remember from being a child, I still remember. Yeah. yeah. And now you, you ask me like somebody else's number that I, I probably should know, like my mother-in-law's number. I'd be like, mm, not sure. Mm. But I can remember yeah. my, my first home number. Right. Uh, yeah. That was another thing. We had home phones, people. It was. I know that all your grandparents still have theirs. Right. But Home phones was a thing, right? There's, so there's not a phone line in this house. This house was built three years ago. Yep. There's no phone line port in this house. Yep. Like my wife and I were like, wait a minute, where would we plug in a phone if we had one? They're not no in this need. house. It's crazy. No it's crazy. Hey, so so another thing that that was interesting or, or on this same kind of uh was uh I talked about how with my job now, this is the first time I've ever been disconnected from the organization. Yeah. And what I mean by that is every job for 15 years, I've always either had a uh, work phone or my phone was connected. My personal phone was connected to the network, right? Right. Um, so that I could then check emails on my phone wherever I was. I could also log into meetings, IM people, things of that nature. But I intentionally, when I took this job, decided that, hey, I wanted to disconnect. Right. right. And unless it was necessary for me to be connected, I was going to see what that feels like. And I will not lie to you. The first few months, it was weird. It was weird to get off at five o'clock and to not not have any emails come in. Right. To not pick up my phone and respond to an email. Right. People that I work with that they knew like, oh, Joel's off. Right. right. So anything they sent me, there was like, well, he's going to take care of it in the morning when he comes in. Right. right. Um, which which is okay, people. That's the way right. life used to be, right? We've now gotten into a position where we feel like if we don't respond, it's a negative against us. Right. But that's the way it used to be. It used to be when you would leave at the end of the day, we didn't expect to hear a response from you until the next morning, right? Right. right. And my things I'm saying now, it's okay to be like that. Yeah. Unless, unless your job dictates, and hear me, when I said that I disconnected, I made sure that it was appropriate for my position, right? right. Um, I made sure I talked to people and said, hey, I'm not going to connect in and this is why. Is that cool? And they were like, yeah, that's fine, Joel. Because if it wasn't, then I would have took their phone and I'd have been fine with that, right? Right. But, but if your job <laughs> means that, hey, you're over incident response, right? So if an incident happens, they need to call you, you need to be connected. Right. You, you kind of need to be connected. You, you kind of if you run in an apartment, which I've been there, you kind of got to be connected, right? right? And an email comes in from a California or overseas, and it's saying something's going on. You need to be connected. You need to check your right. phone, right? But if your position doesn't dictate that, I think it's okay to disconnect, right? You know, obviously, like cortisol levels from stress and things right. like that. The more you're right. connected, the more you look at your phone, the do things you're your stress elevates. And especially if you're, if you're always, you know, like a Pavlov experiment, if you're, huh? if you're always looking at your phone mm. and, and the moment you open up your email, your stress goes up, your mm -hmm. heart rate, your blood pressure goes up. Um, it's not healthy. And, and, yeah. and I, this is something I struggle with. So it's not like, you know, you should do what I do. Like I struggle uh, with this constantly yeah, yeah. of, you know, opening up emails after hours and, you know, to your point, if there's an, if you can't affect this and solve this problem tonight, that's a tomorrow problem, right? Mm -hmm. Message. And um, you know, I, I I used to go on vacation, and I remember standing in line at at, at an amusement park, and you know, yeah. looking, looking at my calling people, mm -hmm. and my wife would be like, "What are you doing? Like, yeah. you're, you're you're on vacation. You're like, ah, well, what am I really doing? Yeah. yeah, like you're 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 not in the moment, right? That's the problem. You're not in the moment." Yep. And, um, you I've know, been I, apologize. There. I apologize to all my friends and family. Like I would travel for business weeks and weeks at a time and fall off the radar. And I'd come back after six months and be like, Hey, what happened? You're like, you know, she got married, right. Or he got married. Yeah, or yeah. He had a kid. You're like, 
for real? That happened? I was I was only gone for a little bit. Like, dude, we haven't seen you in a year. And you're like, huh. Yep. So hey, I think I think that point, that point there is important. So one mm-hmm. of the reasons why my wife likes cruising is mm-hmm. because it would make me put my phone down, right? Because I'm so cheap. I'm like, I'm not paying for the international plan. Right, I'm, I want to put my phone down, um, and now it's a thing, right? We literally cruise. She, I love cruising anyway, but yeah. we would cruise because it would make me disconnect from work, right? Because we, if we went to a resort, we went somewhere else. I'm, I'm gonna pick up the phone. And my yeah. thing is, I love how you said be in the moment. Yeah, right. I think that's important. Now we've lost that art of being in the moment. So yeah. I went to a concert with my wife, and uh, the artist comes on, and everybody hands go up, and they're they're filming. Right. Right. And what and we filming. do is we're just enjoying right. the moment. Like it's like people don't remember memories anymore. You have right. a strong brain to have memories, right? But we want to show everything to everybody else. Just be in the moment. Message. Assistant of mine tell me, um, I never get this. It's like when I'm early in my manager managing career, she was like, Joel, if you stop coming to work tomorrow, they would be just fine. They would replace you and this place would keep going on. So don't yeah. feel like you're indispensable, right? right? When you're off, you're off. Message. To this day, I remember that, right? And and that is important. Know that if you're off, you're off, right? right? They'll be fine without you. And if they can't live without you, they may need to pay you more, right? <laughs> you may need to reevaluate re- your position, your title, and what you are to the company because clearly yeah. they need you, right? Well, and and we've, we've ta- I know we've talked about this. They don't put on your tombstone that you were a great employee. Mm-mm. They don't. I hate nope. to tell you all that, but they, all. they don't do that. And no. let's talk Sorry. about takeaways. So I'll, I'll start. Clean your phone inside and out. Yes. Right. Disinfect. Yes. Clorox wipe. Yes. If you have, especially all if you have that. a case yes. and you have a screen Take it cover, off. use a Clorox wipe. Yes. But yeah. You, and so definitely do that. Next there. Hey, manage your time. Right. Manage how much time you're connected to your device. Right. So uh, be mindful. You can go into your settings. I think screen time. Right. And look at how much time you're spending on your phone. Right. And then just make a challenge to say, I want to reduce that by five percent. Right. And just every every week, try to reduce it a little bit more to something manageable. Next. Last but never least. Give yourself yourself a break. break, People. Break break me off a piece. Kit Kat bar. Yes. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yes. So, uh, any anything we didn't cover that you you think might be important? Always, always knowing it's half the battle, people. And now that you know, you can implement GI Joe. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. GI Joe. All right. Well, thanks everybody. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Yeah, hit the button. Um, please subscribe. So please sabar kara sarak whatever. Yes. Um. And, uh, you know, if you have any if you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the social media channel of your choice where you saw this or yeah, in the yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Um, and let us know if there's things you want us to talk about. Uh, Joel, any parting thoughts, sir, for today? No, nah, y'all take care. Be great. All right. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>